Hey, fellow Mopar drivers, fellow Challenger drivers, we need to talk, man. Hey guys, Joy66, I'm coming at you from a beautiful day here in Superior, Nebraska. It is really, really nice out. It's 86 degrees, not much wind. It's a beautiful summer day. And uh, just out enjoying the weather and thought I'd bring you guys a quick video. Now, there's something I've been noticing a little bit uh, online the last oh, 10 days or so, probably. Uh, more than usual, even. And that is um, a lot of challengers showing up on um, Facebook pages and news stories and other places on the internet that are crashed. And the drivers have done stupid things and crashed their cars. And I uh, just noticed a real rash of this, more than I've noticed it in a really long time, you know, um, or ever, I guess, for that matter. I know, uh, you know, you always see the uh, Mustang stuff. You see the Mustang guys leaving car meets and car shows or whatever and losing control and uh, jumping the curb and, and all that good stuff. We've all seen those videos and everyone's made fun of them. And uh, that joke's kind of actually gotten a little bit old over the years, I think, because it's just happened so many times that it's not even really funny anymore. It's just kind of a thing. And I don't think it's anything inherently wrong with the car itself or uh, any car if you get a, a bad driver behind the wheel or we can all make mistakes too we know that so um, the whole Mustang thing's kind of gone off into the thing and I'm hoping that uh, challengers aren't taking their place because I keep seeing weird things about uh, challenger drivers doing stupid things and just uh, jet challengers being crashed in, in uh, general I don't know if it's uh, just me noticing it more or uh, is this happening more or whatever it's showing up online an awful lot what do you guys think are you guys noticing this too a week and a half or so ago there was that uh, you guys probably have most of you have probably seen this if you haven't uh, here it is um, I'll put something up on the screen here in a second and uh, this kid drove this uh, Challenger into an aqueduct somehow down into a ditch and um, he stuck down there had to be rescued by the fire department there's a video out there somewhere of him being rescued and crawling up a ladder and all that stuff because the uh, the walls in this thing were very steep uh, into, down into this ditch and I'm not sure exactly how he got it down there and it was sitting upright in the water and he was sitting up on the uh, sitting up on the roof facing the hood or facing the trunk I should say looking kind of dejected and uh, from what I understand um, from what I heard online I don't know if this is absolutely true or not maybe some of you can enlighten us if this is true or not but um, that it was not his car and that it uh, likely belonged to his father I guess so uh, that had to be a bad moment in that kid's life imagine that call to your dad you know uh, hey dad uh, hey there's a little bit of a problem with the car uh, <laughs> that's got to be a that's got to not be fun I know my son crashed a car once it wasn't mine it was a car that I had bought for him and uh, he had to make that phone call to me luckily nobody was hurt my daughter was hurt just a little bit but nobody was majorly hurt but the car was destroyed and um, it had to be a very very bad phone call to have to make and I imagine that kid uh, hopes he never has to do anything like that again in his life if in fact it was his dad's car and if whether no matter whose car it was it had to be a very bad moment for him uh, as you can see in that picture he looks pretty dejected and uh, one of those embarrassing rough bad moments in life that could happen to anybody and uh, I, did, I feel kind of bad for the kid even though I know it's easy to jump on people online and be like oh you know he's being stupid he did something dumb and he probably did but uh, everyone who hasn't done something dumb in a car please step forward <laughs> I think we're all guilty of it right and then there was a picture about a week or so ago too that uh, showed up online and there's not I didn't see much explanation exactly what happened but something really bad must have happened and uh, hopefully Nobody was hurt too bad in this crash or whatever this hat, whatever happened to this Challenger, uh, this green one that is just completely destroyed, as you can see in this picture. Um, that is very, that's really bad. I uh, don't know exactly what happened there, and uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully uh, those people involved in that or the person is okay. I have no idea. So, if anybody knows anything about that, go ahead and comment down below. Hopefully, this is not something. Uh, there's not a tragedy here more than just the car being destroyed. Uh, hopefully no lives were destroyed or, or damaged by this, but um, that's a very bad crash. Obviously, whatever happened to the thing was pretty major, and uh, that's just scary to look at. Kind of picture your own car when you have a Challenger or whatever, and uh, picture it in that shape, and uh, that's pretty crazy. So, I don't know. That's, that, that one's actually a little bit scary. That's not such a uh, entertaining picture, really. It's more of a scary picture, but, uh, yeah, that's crazy, so... I don't know anybody know any more about that story. That's kind of a kind of a kind of a crazy looking one, and uh, a little bit, sends a little bit of fear through your heart, I guess. And then now uh, there's this one from Philadelphia, where a uh, there's a black Challenger and a 68 year old man driving the car. Um, they're unsure whether he was uh, intoxicated or not. Last article I read was that they were still trying to um, determine whether he was intoxicated or not. Um, I'm sure by now they know because this was a couple days ago, 
uh, they were trying to draw his blood. I think he was refusing or whatever, and they had to get a warrant. So anyway, I don't know the whole story, so if anybody does know more about that story, let me know. But uh, I think seven people were injured, including himself, so six, six bystanders were injured. Uh, it was outside of a hospital near Philadelphia, or in Philadelphia, um, Thomas Jefferson University Hospital. Uh, I'm not familiar with that area, so I don't know, but that's what the article said. Um, apparently these people were pedestrians outside of the hospital. He jumped a curb and hit three people and then shot off to the other side and hit three more or something like that. I'm not sure exactly the scenario, but uh, I think uh, three of them are in critical condition, so or were a couple days ago. Uh, hopefully they're okay, or not. I know they're not okay right now, but hopefully they will be okay. Um, I haven't heard more about if anybody, God forbid, I hope nobody passed away. But, um, and then the other three were in like uh, serious but stable condition. Um, they said he was going, um, witnesses now say that he was going, uh, they thought he was going about 40 to 50 miles an hour. And this is in front of a hospital on a street uh, that's, you know, in front of a hospital. And from the pictures, it looks like it's just a little, you know, not somewhere where you should be going 40 or 50 miles an hour. And also they, uh, police believe that he could have been intoxicated. Now he was 68, so there could be some other, um, you know, issues there besides being intoxicated maybe he had a heart attack maybe and he's injured as well but not seriously apparently but um could he possibly have been having a heart attack maybe a stroke uh maybe some kind of just a moment where he was a little disoriented or something because not that 68 is that old but you know it is at an age where things like that can certainly happen and they're more likely to happen than when you're younger um so there's that possibly was he showing off was he doing something stupid um <clears throat> or was he in fact intoxicated so uh, i'm sure that as I'm making this video, it's been a couple days since that thing even happened, so uh, that's probably, I have, can't find any more in the news about it today, so uh, I'm sure they've determined a lot more by now than what uh, uh, what they had a couple days ago when this actually happened. If any of you guys know anything about that uh, situation, uh, pl please let us know down below. Uh, hopefully everybody's going to be okay. Uh, I know three people in critical condition does not sound good, though, so. So really, all of these are kind of a lesson, you know, and kind of a, kind of a warning, you know, just be careful, you know. Um, doing crazy stuff and uh, especially in public areas where there's, where there's a lot of people around or any other people around for that matter it's just uh, it's not the time to do it um, you know go to the track or if you have to do it on the public road and I'm not gonna uh, act like I'm Mr. Innocent because I've done things before but not in town and not uh, not around people pedestrians people on the street it's just uh, you're just asking for trouble and uh, not just to get yourself in trouble but to to possibly hurt yourself or hurt somebody else and devastate your life. Can you imagine what, what it would feel like to, to actually hurt somebody else? And you know, um, yeah, I just, uh, you gotta be careful and you gotta, you just gotta think about things before you do them. I know we all make mistakes. We've all done stupid stuff in cars, like I said. So uh, not like blaming anybody or looking down on anybody, but uh, it's just kind of a little uh, wake up call, man. Be careful, pay attention to what you're doing and uh, just, uh, you know, think about stuff before you do it. And apparently that driver, uh, the police are now saying that he could be charged with um, six counts of aggravated assault, I believe is the charge there in, uh, in Pennsylvania. So um, depending on the state, there's different, they call things different things, but it would be aggravated assault there. So, uh, and hopefully if nobody passes away, he won't be charged with anything else than that, but we'll see. Uh, I'll try to keep an eye on that story, you guys too. If anybody knows anything, like I said, let me know down below. So with those things being said, like I said, you know, just be careful and think about what you're doing. Um, kind of got me to thinking about something that happened the other night uh, I was uh, at home alone and I was trying to get ready to go to bed but I was having uh, sometimes I get a little like anxious and I can't calm down and one of the cures for that is to go out in the car and drive around for a while in my Challenger my scat pack because I love this car and it kind of it's good therapy I've said that before but anyway I went out uh, that night before bed I decided to just cruise around town a little bit so I was just putting along and uh, Got people staring at me every time I do a video like this somebody has to stop and stare like I'm up to something bad hello <laughs> I don't know what their problem is I'm just sitting here anyway <laughs> okay whatever I'll ignore them um, So anyway, I'm just out cruising around. I'm literally like doing like five under the speed limit. I'm just putting around, you know, making sure I come to a complete stop at all the, all the stop signs and everything. And just just kind of relaxing, have the radio on, you know, just listening to the radio. So anyway, I'm just thinking about maybe I should start heading home or whatever. And uh, there had been some kids driving around and uh, a couple of them were in uh, Mustangs, you know, and uh, 
one of the one of them in particular in this one Mustang, and he had all the little stickers in the rear quarter window, all the little performance stickers, you know, like from every uh, Jags and Summit, and every I didn't see them all. I didn't get a up close look, but there was about ten stickers in each little quarter window, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, he had some kind of exhaust on there, or, or lack of exhaust, because it was pretty loud. And uh, every time he would see me in this Challenger, because we small town here. For those of you who don't know, I live in a town of about 1,800 people, so you drive around town and you're pretty much you're going to see the same people over and over. And anyway, I kept passing them. And every time we'd pass them, he would like get on it really hard. A couple times he would spin the tires just a little bit, and uh, he'd rev it up real loud. And just, I don't know if he was trying to entice me into something or whatever. I don't know. People do that a lot when you drive a car like this. You get a lot of engine revving at you, and people want to show you what their car could do or whatever. And I was just ignoring it. It was like I said, I was trying to relax. And just think and stuff and uh, get my get my thoughts together before bed and uh, he kept doing that but the thing is that there was a bunch of cops in town usually there's only like one on duty at a time but there was a, a couple of city cops and a couple of, and there was a, a sheriff county sheriff and they had another car pulled over which I think somebody might have been getting a DUI or whatever but anyway there was just a lot of police activity in town that night so which is kind of unusual for here but then this kid just kept doing this. And then one of the times I came to a uh, intersection, I was at a stop sign, and well, here they come up, coming the other way. I had to stop for them. And when he went past me, he kind of lit them up just a little bit, uh, you know, got the tires spinning, made a bunch of noise. Well, he didn't realize it, but those police officers had all joined together down at the other end of the street. I was kind of facing them. And uh, so they saw him go by and do that. And of course, they, they chased him down and pulled him over. And I'm not sure what happened. You know, I didn't get nosy or anything. So I'm not sure how much trouble he got in. Hopefully, just a warning. Um, but I felt kind of bad because if I hadn't been out there, he probably wouldn't have been doing that stuff, maybe. So, anyway, I felt kind of bad. He was just, he looked like a pretty young kid, I think, high school or maybe slightly out of high school. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I felt kind of bad. And like I said, I wasn't doing anything back. I was just trying to be mellow and no interest in any craziness that night whatsoever. And I wouldn't do that in town, anyways. But I felt kind of bad for him because I, when I was on my way home, I had to drive right past where he was pulled over and he was kind of looking over. And, uh, yeah, I just felt bad for him because we've all done stuff like that when we were kids and, and sometimes even as adults. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, hopefully, like I said, hopefully he didn't get in too much trouble. Uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, I saw it coming, but there was nothing I could do because it was like, dude, you're going to get a ticket. And sure enough, they went, they went after him. So, um, yep, I'm sorry about that if you're watching this. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. I wasn't doing anything intentionally. And uh, hope, hopefully he just got a warning. And in my opinion, he really didn't do anything dangerous or... Uh, I don't think he ever even really broke the speed limit, but he was, I guess, I don't know if there's a, I don't know what the law is here. Um, maybe display of speed or something like that. If they have a law like that here, I'm not even sure. But uh, the only thing that he was doing was showing off a little bit. He didn't, like I say, he didn't break the law. He didn't run any stop signs or anything like that that I saw. He was just wanting me to see how loud his car was and I guess how powerful it was or whatever. But uh, I wouldn't waste my gasoline on that anyway. And like I said, I wasn't out to do anything anyways, but... So anyway, just a kind of a little story there from the other night. It's amazing. I'm sure you guys have the same issues if you drive a car like this or a Camaro or Mustang or a Challenger, whatever. I always name all those same cars. Uh, people uh, always kind of get a little bit aggressive with you and they want to show off their car when they're, they want to they let you know that they have a fast car if they think it's fast or whatever. It's always kind of, uh, kind of funny to me, but uh, I don't know. Maybe that's something. I probably did that when I was younger too. So anyway, dude, if you're out there watching somewhere, sorry. I hope I, I didn't. You know, I hope you're not in too much trouble. And that's going to about do it for this video, guys. Uh, what do you think about all these Challenger crashes showing up online? Is it just uh, something that's going on right now? Or, you know, I know when you drive these kind of cars, there's chances are there's going to be more likely uh, to get an accident. That's why the insurance rates are higher because people tend to drive, um, I don't know, more stupidly, I guess, when you have a, a Challenger, Camaro, Mustang, I'll, I'll name all the cars again, but you know what I mean. Uh, that's why the insurance rates are higher, I guess. But it just seems like this week or this last couple weeks has been uh, Crash a Challenger week. I don't know. Anyway, guys, this is Joey66. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go edit this video for you guys, and I will hopefully see a bunch of you tonight in the uh, live stream. Uh, it'll be about 7.45 Central Time. And uh, let's see, what else was I going to ask you? Oh, I made that video the other day, and I was trying to give away some free uh, headlight wipes to fix your headlights, and they actually they did a pretty good job. I was shocked. I didn't think they would. Uh, and I don't know how long they'll last. Like I did in that video that I made a couple days ago, um, I said if people would email me that they wanted those, I had an extra box of them for free, and I would send them to whoever uh, randomly I picked off of the emails. Well, I've gotten zero emails requesting uh, to to be thrown into the to the pile of uh, potential winners there. So. Um, 
I'll do it again tonight, I guess. If someone wants to send the uh, email to the email address on the screen, or it's always in my uh, description too. Um, tell me you would interested in those headlight wipes. I will. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to do this time since nobody entered from the other video, which is just weird. Something for free, and not one person was interested. Um, whoever sends me the first email, go ahead and send your address when, or whatever. You don't have to send your address. I can get back with you if you win. Whoever I get the first email from that wants those headlight wipes, I will send them to them. So let's try that, guys. Joy66, have a great weekend. See you tonight, I hope. And uh, please like and subscribe. Please subscribe if you can. And uh, hit the little bell notification if you can. I really appreciate that, guys. You'll be doing me all a favor. That way you won't miss out on any of my super great videos that I'm always making, right? All right, thanks, guys. Joy66 out of here.